Welcome back to our weekly installment of Elena's Experiments. Every Monday, we bring in local STEM educators and enthusiasts to share ideas for some experiments and demonstrations you can do with your kids at home, just using things you likely have laying around the house. And joining us in studio today, we have Michelle Roy, the science coordinator at the Kern County Superintendent of Schools. And if you were at the Kern County Science Fair, you have her to thank for all the magic that happened that day. That's kind yeah. of your big shining moment of the whole year, and it was incredible. Yeah. It was an incredible day, and it was an incredible day to uh, showcase the partnership between um, our Kern County students and our STEM industry here uh, in Kern County. Um, our STEM industry showed up. Uh, we ended up, I've been here a couple times, you know, pleading for more <laughs> judges. We had 240 judges Amazing. show up at this Kern County Science Fair. It was fantastic. That perfect uh, marriage of what can happen when community and education work together toward um, doing really super cool things. Exactly. And speaking of super cool things, you've brought something along for us to do with our kids this week. And yes. maybe next week, post Easter, or I guess heading into Easter, you're going to have all that spring break time off of school. Correct. So um, I have a a pretty open-ended activity. Uh, myself as well as my colleague Justin and I uh, both like to um, share activities that have to do with the science and engineering design process. Okay. And so um, it begins with asking a question, imagining solutions, and then creating some sort of design, and then going through that iterative process where you're designing and revising, designing and revising, and then testing okay. along the way as well. So today we have something for that Easter gathering, mm -hmm. and when you're looking for what you can do with all the kiddos that are there. Um, so we have things like uh, the plastic Easter eggs, mm -hmm and we have pipe cleaners and straws and craft sticks and rubber bands, tape, some string, scissors, um, all sorts of things to design a an Easter basket Cute. that um, can carry uh, my constraints um, for this particular activity um, are that the basket has to be able to carry six plastic <laughs> eggs okay. um, as well as hold up when you hop. Okay. So we're gonna do like a relay, Cute. some active participation involved, um, and I, I, you know, I'd like to point out that um, before I came down to the studio, you know, I was playing around with my materials, trying things out, and you can see that uh, I created uh, iteration number one okay. um, of the Easter basket, and you know, I have, um, you can, whoops, there goes one of my eggs, <laughs> and you're out. Yep, and you're out. So I, I had four in yeah. here. My my Easter basket would only hold four. Um, so what I do here at this, you know, speaking of the engineering design process, is I'm going to go back to the drawing board, right? And I'm going to redesign and find, you know, modify my design in some way uh, to get six eggs in there. And I also would think too, you know, based on the fact that my egg fell out so quickly, um, I definitely need some modifications. So we call this iteration number one. Cool. Um, go back to the drawing board, redesign, retest. Um, if you have all the kiddos sitting around the table and everyone's designing their baskets, uh, then take every one outside and do some sort of relay to test where, um, you know, potentially running back and forth. Uh, the one, one of the other things I didn't say is can't put a lid on your basket. Okay, either. it needs to be open. It needs to be an open basket where we can see all the eggs. Um, just a fun way to this keep so kids neat. busy um, at our Easter gatherings, get kids thinking, um, and get everyone outside having fun. And get them to compare each other's, uh, you know, I really like that you did the kind of a soft basket underneath. I would have started with the craft sticks at the bottom and mine would have bounced out for sure. So getting the kids to have fun and be competitive in a healthy way mm -hmm. and talking about science the whole time. Exactly. Egg, oh, I get that. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Michelle, you're the best. <laughs>